Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering NetApp Insight 2017. Brought to you by NetApp. Okay, welcome back everyone. Live in Las Vegas, it's theCUBE's exclusive coverage of NetApp Insight 2017. I'm John Furrier, the co-host of theCUBE, co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media here with Keith Townsend, my co-host for the day, CTO advisor. Our next guest is Brett Roscoe, Vice President of Products and Solutions Marketing at NetApp, and Madge Miller, who's the Director of Worldwide Public Relations PR. So, how are you guys feeling? End of the day, a lot of action. A lot of stuff I going mean, on. I mean, I felt like I was wanting to reinvent all these announcements. Almost, you need another keynote. <laughs> we, we do, we definitely do. A lot of really great announcements happening this week and a lot of really yeah. big excitement in the halls about you know, what is happening with our announcements and you know, Microsoft, HCI. How many did you have, roughly? We had three, um, but we wrapped them oh, into really? our only three. Three yeah. big ones, but they well, were three, 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 three press releases, right? Yeah, press we had three, three big multiple ones. Function, oh, multiple features, products each one, yeah. in each one. I mean, it one, felt yeah. like there was 60 announcements in there. It, yeah, yeah. Kind of it bundled did. in, but you packaged yeah. them up into three. Yes, to map to our three IT imperatives um, and to map back to the, the data visionary um, transformation that NetApp has been undergoing this past year. So you've been busy. Very busy. Heard in the cats internally, putting it all into the block. So mm -hmm. the three transformation zones are one, data center, traditional data center, modernization and mm -hmm. extension, yep. new next generation data center, and then power of the cloud. Yeah, yeah. harnessing the power of the cloud. Harnessing Absolutely. the power of the cloud, yeah. which is on, on everyone's mind. As yes. a portfolio, not a product anymore, because in the old days you had the product, now it's not, right. not a, it's a portfolio. The data fabric is really taking yeah. new territory down. How do you put that together when you take it to the market? Because, yeah. you know, representation implementations are great, but customers have, are different. You can't just put one customer in a box and say there's 10 other customers like that, yeah. because they might have a mix of hybrid cloud, a little bit on-prem. Yeah, well, you know, if you hear, so I'm sure you've heard, you know, data fabric, right? That is our, that's how we talk about connecting to the hybrid cloud. So that spans really all of, all three of those, right? So whether you're in a modernized next-gen data center or a harness to power of the cloud, the da data fabric kind of spans all those. And it creates a unique, um, really, story for NetApp about how we break down boundaries between traditional on-prem and cloud-based environments, right? So that's, yeah. that really spans a portfolio, right? But then when you, so as you get into these different solutions, you know, even though they may be something around modernized, we still talk about how you're going to harness the power of the cloud within that modernized capability, right? So all of our announcements uh, this week it, it is really cool to see that hybrid cloud capability coming through all of that, right? It's one of the key investments in yeah. our in our product roadmap, and you're seeing that come as we announce new yeah, capabilities. Yeah, Gene did a great job on the marketing, but I, I get excited by Sheila Fitzpatrick because <laughs> you know, she's driving the passion around privacy, which is not so much security, but it's data, data is security, data is privacy, data is tech, data is for developers. You got governance going on, you got privacy, GDPR going on in Europe, so you guys are in a lot of touch points. I got a lot of irons on the fires relative mm -hmm. to the market opportunities outside the core base. Right. What's, what's the, the plans? I mean, because everyone's like, what's my reference, reference implementation? How do I use NetApp? <clears throat> well, we started using use case terminology, right? So as, mm -hmm. as you, you know, we have nine different use cases that we use. So, so that's really about the issue or the problem or the, or the project the customer's working on, right? So if they're trying to build you know, if they're trying to accelerate a traditional application, or if they're trying to harness, or if they're trying to harness new modern data services from the cloud, or if they're trying to build a DevOps environment, so we we use that buyer journey, right, to kind of come in and talk to the customer and say, here, you know, we this is what we think you're trying to do. Here's the unique capabilities, right, with our portfolio that we can bring to that solution, right. So we really try to make the product kind of the last part, and really talk about the capabilities across the portfolio, how they address and differentiate us into each of those use case environments, right? So that's really the way we try to simplify it so that we don't, yeah. you know, that we're not talking about all these different products, we're talking about NetApp's capabilities. Mm -hmm. So I was pretty impressed with the keynote yesterday. The, we got an hour into the keynote without even mentioning a product. Mm -hmm. However, this conference is typically, has traditionally been a storage conference Mm -hmm. So, how has the average attendee, as you if you as you walk the the floor and you've, and, and you've talked to customers and attendees, how have they been receptive of that message of data first? And now today we got to the meat of the actual speeds and feeds. I think really the the thing about the the conversation that NetApp is having now, and just like you saw on stage at the keynote, 
is that we're allowing people to elevate their role within their organization. So everyone's coming to the IT department and saying, you know, how do I create these new services? How do I monetize data? And now we're giving our folks that we've worked with traditionally for years the opportunity to step in that conversation and be experts and really come and be the hero in that conversation just like you saw on stage. So they can take their knowledge of those feeds and feeds and they can come in and interpret them for new services, new revenue models for data. And you guys did a great job with the A team. We had a bunch of them on here in the Cube. Mm -hmm. They're the greatest analysts to come in because they're on the front lines. Yep. Um, they're a mix of tech geeks and also partners. Yeah, they're great advocates, right? And I also spent, I spent the whole day meeting with our analyst community, right? As they come away and get their impressions. Yeah. And they were, they were very positive, very excited. Uh, they've kind of been on this journey with us and watched yeah. us kind of transform as, you know, as we go through our own digital transformation yeah. about becoming a data focused company, right? Around meeting customer needs and how they how they extract value and create mm -hmm. new customer touch points and optimize operations and look for new innovative ways to use data. All right, so where's the focus on the solutions? And also the comms is important too because as you have comms and solutions, you're like on the landscape looking at all the, the, the community action going on. You also mm -hmm. got to look at what's going on in the narrative of the industry for thought mm -hmm. leadership. You got to come in and pick and choose your your resources, <coughs> for instance, Cloud Native Compute Foundation is one of the hottest things on the planet for cloud. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a more open source, but there's a lot of, a lot of influencers in there, a lot right. of 18 potential. You got to make some choices. So as you go out to the market, how do you look at the landscape? Because there's almost too much to do for you guys. <laughs> if you hit every single piece, Where's the focus? Yeah, I think that's really where our core message of being the data authority in the hybrid cloud world mm -hmm. comes in and looking back at those three you know, IT imperatives that we talked about, really our focus is on building out those core strengths and that's really what you saw from our announcements mm -hmm. at the show. Um, is building up to those core strengths that we have and continuing to build them out. How about cu customer segment, I mean community seg sectors. Open source obviously is still mm -hmm. growing like crazy. O open source is important for us. You know, looking at hyperscalers is very important for us. Looking at, you know, cloud native partners as we go forward, you know, which is part of what our announcement with Microsoft was about today, yeah, about to is to moving more into that, you know, cloud native conversation, you know, as NetApp with our core services and things that we're really known for and, and made us we are today. Brad, you got to look at the, cl the cloud thing with Microsoft as a huge it's incredible. Thing. I mean, now they have, it's not only are they a great channel for you guys, yeah. and you guys got to step up to the plate and deliver some good value because yeah. you know they're finicky. They have sales guys out <laughs> in the streets. Got to be reliable, it's be yeah. rock solid, so pressure's on you. But right. this opens up a lot of doors for NetApp, doesn't yeah. it? Well, I, I, you know, I think it's, an, it's a fantastic opportunity for us, right? It's, it's an honor that Microsoft chose us as a partner in this space. Um, you know, I, but I, at the same time, I do believe we are the, the, the best, uh, we have the best capability in this space, right? A, a, a true scalable enterprise, you know, um, capability that we bring to Azure, I think is going to be, is going to be right, is going to hit the heart of the market for them and, and really provide a, a high quality, high enterprise scale kind of service. So I, I think, you know, I'm, I'm super excited that this partnership came together. I think it makes total sense. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you look at the number one hyperscaler, the you know the number one you know uh, data vendor out there, and say <laughs> they've come together to, to address customer needs. All right, here's the trick question at the end of the yeah. day: see what we can get out of you because this, this is <laughs> Dave Vellante and I. No, we don't. We we, we we know we're good at trick questions. Okay, this you know, is good. Like, we're all punchy. We always, right? yeah. no, we always fall for that. Here's we're that. totally <laughs> good at that. Yeah, yeah. I should have said that in the cube. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but this is more of a this is more of a philosophical question because Dave Vellante and I always talk about never fight fashion. Fashion is key in success because you can you know, ride the wave and be mm -hmm. fashionable. We so have, so the yes, question is, what is the fashion forward, in the market that you see? Because you guys now are at a level, in my opinion, where you can walk in the front door of all the thought leader theaters and say, hey, cloud native guys, we got a great story for that. Mm -hmm. Hey, governance, we got a great story there. So you have now a whole new level of territory that you can take down and have conversations in. Mm -hmm. So that comes the fashion question. What's fashionable that you guys are focused on? If that's the fashion trend, what is NetApp wearing? <laughs> what is NetApp wearing? Are they Which wearing? Designer? Are they what wearing designer, designer, designer wearing? cloud native? Are they wearing? <laughs> not my not my best analogy. <laughs> I, you didn't hit my strong point. Um, you could use a sports analogy okay, or something okay. like if that. You're a base, no, no, no. If you're a football team. Are you the Patriots? <laughs> are you the Niners? No, no, no. She's she's, she's already. Right, go ahead. Yeah, you got the fashion. You, you do your sports. No, no, no. Go no go do a sports analogy. Go ahead. West Coast offense, of course. 
<laughs> okay, no, fashion, right. We, yes, we could, we could totally do a fashion analogy. Um, I think the what you what you saw us wearing today, you know, around our data fabric momentum, around our cloud announcement, yeah. even around the digital customer experience with Elio and Active IQ, the way we're using um, our our partnership with Watson, um, IBM Watson. Those are those are the types of things that you'll see from us in the future. The the uh, customer ex experience message really is around us using our right. own systems and amplifying those in a way that we hope our customers will in the future. So you'll see a lot more of those types of things from us into you know into the next fashion season. Yeah, and the old expression, you know, if you got sizzly bit, have the steak, and again, say hey, nice fabric you're wearing. So yeah. since you we're know. talking <laughs> analogies, <laughs> the, you guys are actually building up a lot of political capital. The Microsoft announcement is huge. That's just from a optics perspective. You can that that huge. that gets you into the door. That, the, mm -hmm. Wait, hold on, this NFS thing is powered by NetApp opens up a set of conversations with a completely different set of customers. Mm -hmm. How do you spend that capital mess? What's the next level of conversations with CIOs, C CDOs, CMOs? Yeah. CXOs, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, we've, we're in those conversations today, right? So we've had ONTAP Cloud and several, even pure SaaS based uh, products for a while and they're making great traction. There's huge growth in those new products. Uh, obviously with the Microsoft partnership, it allows us to kind of actually reach, I, I'm excited about hitting new buyers that may have not seen mm -hmm. NetApp as a, as, a, as a vendor that they would leverage, you know, it, maybe just through association or, or because they're, maybe their persona or, or the job they do wouldn't have, wouldn't put NetApp right in front of them. So now we have a new audience, right? We have a whole new audience that we can show our value. Uh, you know, we're, we, I think, will have ways to work with Microsoft to bring additional, you know, capabilities into that service that they're going to provide, and how do we work with them to do that and make sure that customers see value, see additional future capabilities that they can leverage from us. I, it's a tremendous opportunity, and you know, it, and it's 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 now it's our market to go. It's it's this is our opportunity to go show value to them. It, it, this is this is a great opportunity. We need to take advantage of it, and it's and it's right. ours to. You know, it's ours to, to, it's, to Yeah, to you really guys are going to take more territory. Yeah, great, yeah. great stuff. Uh, final word, I'll give you guys the final word in the segment. For the folks that couldn't make it, there to watching this segment, mm -hmm. share with them um, what were the key things here happening that, that you should know about, mm -hmm. uh, the takeaway from NetApp Insight. Mm -hmm. What are the key things? Brett, you want to take this one? I, you, I, you start and I'll, and I'll finish okay, for you. So okay, go ahead. We'll, we'll tag team this yeah. one. Um, I, I think the, the big thing obviously is the, the Microsoft announcement. It's us moving more into that cloud native territory. That's a really big one. Uh, also, the the digital customer experience, the Elio and Active IQ for customer support. Um, I think those are very big too, showing us using our own capabilities for our customers as as a company. Okay, I look. I, I think um, the you said it earlier. Portfolio announce right. We we continue to come with multiple with with several. Um, new capabilities across the portfolio, right? And I think if you look at our focus, which is, hey, we're building more software capability, we are building more hybrid, you know, more, you know, more capabilities in the cloud, more capabilities in hybrid, enforcing that data fabric message. Yeah. I, I, I tell you, I don't think, I, you know, I know I'm biased, but nobody does it better, right? Nobody can come in and provide the position that NetApp has to help customers through this transformation leveraging cloud, leveraging new technologies, new microservices into their architecture in a way that we do it that's as seamless and easy. And the cloud orchestrator is just one example of, that's multi-cloud. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That shift to be first to market with true multi-cloud right out of the gate, mm -hmm. so congratulations. Yeah. And you know, sorry to hear about all the tragedy that happened around your event. You guys handled it with class and respect. Thank you. Yeah, it was definitely a tough situation, I thought. Uh, the entire leadership team did a yeah. fantastic job of, yeah. of working through that. Props to the yeah. NetApp leadership and the whole team. Yeah. It's theCUBE here live in Las Vegas at the Mandalay Bay for the NetApp Insight 2017. We'll be back with more after this short break. Calling all barrier breakers, status quo smash.